Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, and it says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I've been looking at on what's going on around us lately things in the news things on the news and things that goes on on a day-to-day -day basic and i see that there are a lot of shifting going on and there are a lot of things going on things that you know man might say without knowing that god is doing a thing in what is being said for example the upcoming date of what's going on in Africa, which people are saying on the 22nd of this month, August, that there will be a meeting going on with dipl diplomatic countries and with their new form, a line and agreement going on, which is the BRICS. So we're thinking about this particular date. And sometimes in life, you know, you'll hear people say a date and they might think, okay, there's nothing to it. God is doing things through things that we say, especially when more than one people claim it out of their mouth. Because, you know, when there are more than one person say something, you know, in the Bible, when you touch and agree on things, things happen. So we've been hearing a lot about the 22nd. And when we look at what's going on in Africa right now, we see that there's a lot of things going on leading up to this particular date. So we see where countries um are stating about wars and rumors of wars. Who is doing this from who is doing that? Who is taking this? Who is stealing? Who is not stealing? Who is doing this? Who is joining this? And you see this particular date and you see the things uh, since it has been announced and people are talking about it you see there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of shifting going on so you know when you have shifting going on on earth you know it's also going on in heaven because when you pray the prayer the lord's prayer you don't just pray it for yourself only you're praying it um in what god wants us because he said um jesus said that when we pray, we ought to pray our Father. And when we pray the fa our Father prayer, it leads to what God has destined and want us to do. So when we look at the, the, the Bible verse, Isaiah 43 and 18 to 19, and it states of the remember he not the former things, neither consider things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. And you see a lot of new things going on around us. New things in different countries. Who never thought they had um, leadership powers? Who never thought they could do things? Who never thought they had strength? Now, no, seeing a new thing. There's a new thing that's going on around us. There's a new thing that's going on in the atmosphere. There's a new thing that is going on. And when we are looking at these new things, we have to consider that some of these things have to happen for the manifestation of end time, for the working of God to manifest that he had stated that will come to pass. So we are sitting here and we are praying because we can't just sit and not pray. We have to pray God's will in each circumstance is that it may not get to the point where we all have to suffer to the point of, because you know, the Bible said a lot of things is to come. So in the process of everything that's going on, we as Christian, we have to pray because if we don't pray, sometimes we fall in the trap and we can't just relax and say, okay, you know what? No, we have to keep vigilant. We have to pray constantly. We have to not make our hearts trouble. So we are watching what's going on around us leading up to the date because we see a lot of shifting going on. We hear a lot of things going on. So we are looking forward to see what God is up to in this season. 
So we are going to pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, there's a new thing going on around us. We see it with our eyes, God, and we hear it with our ears, God. Give us a heart to incline upon your word. Give us a heart to incline upon you. Incline on the things that you want us to do. Incline up on truth and not lies. Do the things that are godly and so, Father God, we're asking you to continue to draw our hearts close to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to continue to walk in your calling for each and every one of our lives. Continue to guide our steps in your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your protection. We thank, thank you for everything that you are doing in each and every one of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.